You say something, you say no. Welcome back. Um, just because you're joining us, you're watching um, News Up on Silverbird. Our focus at this moment will be um, the World AIDS Day. It is often celebrated 1st of December every year. Um, current figure puts um, prevalence and AIDS prevalence in Nigeria at 1.4 percent. Um, quite worrying. The U.S. is about 1.1 percent. Uh, but today the focus is on self-testing. So we have in the studio today um, Chisong um, Obiezu Ume, who is a project, project coordinator for Youths by Youth. Uh, uh, Chisong, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. We also have Dr. David Oladele, who is a consultant, senior research fellow from NIMR. NIMR. Dr. David, welcome. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, let, let's, let's take a holistic look at um, AIDS um, with Nigeria as a focus. Uh, uh, how well are we doing first? in awareness and second in um, ensuring that um, it is not spreading well enough? Well, I will start by saying that it's been a long journey. The first mm -hmm. case of HIV AIDS diagnosed in Nigeria was 1986. And from then there's been a lot that has been done uh, in treatment, in support and all the rest. Uh, but last year, early this year, we have a new report like you, like you quoted, I said that HIV prevalence there about 1.5. More in women, 1.9 compared to men, and um, it shows that we still have a long way to go. Uh, United Nations uh, Program for HIV and AIDS, 2018, said that uh, it was only about 67% of those who need to know their status. Mm. Only know about we still have a gap about 23%. Looking at the 1990 indicator, yeah, and only about half of those who know their status on treatment, and those on treatment only about half have achieved viral suppression. Mm. So we still have a long way to go. Be that it's made, a lot has been done over the years. And uh, looking at the theme for this year, what is the, it's, it's target communities make the difference. Yeah. And it's focused on different communities that we need to look at at the fight against HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. What are the communities? The healthcare worker working in the field of HIV AIDS, the key populations, women and children, young people, um, opinion leaders in the community. Mm -hmm. Because this, we, help us to know the access to treatment, know the gap, reaching out to these people that we need to bring on board. Uh, but the, currently the, the, the challenge is um, a lot of people that need to know their status and not know their status. So how do we get this person, this, this group to know their status? Mm -hmm. Until you know your status, you cannot access treatment. Mm -hmm. And without treatment, we cannot achieve what we are trying to achieve, the, the fight against HIV AIDS. And that is why Nigerian Institute of Medical Research this year, in um, collaboration with other institutions from the United States of America, uh, and through the grant for men our age, uh, we have this For Youth by Youth program, in which we are trying to promote HIV self-testing mm. in Nigeria. The question is, what is HIV self-testing? HIV test self-testing simply means that a person can decide to know his status at the comfort of his room by getting a kit that he can use without little guidance. And when you have know your status, it can assess or get linked to care. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me, let me come to Chisum because you are the project coordinator for Youth by Youth, like he mentioned. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read out some statistics for you mm -hmm. uh, because it borders around uh, youths. Mm -hmm. Now, according to a report, uh, uh, this came out in March, women aged between 15 and 49 years right. are more than twice as likely to be living with uh, HIV than men, uh, which is about 1.9 uh, versus 0.9. That's the ratio between men and women. Right. And the difference in HIV prevalence between women and men is greatest among younger adults. Mm -hmm. When you talk about self-testing, like you explained, I was mm -hmm. in the hospital with my mom. I took my mom to the hospital. Right. And mm -hmm. then I think a nurse approached me and said, have you done your HIV test? Yeah. We can do it for you. Right. I was embarrassed. I hadn't done it at that time. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. And it, it felt scary. Like, mm -hmm. what would the outcome be? Because, you know, what we, what we know is that the, 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 the way the HIV is transmitted the most, right. maybe the sexual, sexual, but there are other exactly. means, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember being pricked with needles when mm -hmm. making my hair or stuff. So it okay. actually, you know, scared me at some point. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think this is the status, this is the reason why mm -hmm young people would rather shy away right. from having this test done in hospitals or even self-testing? Oh yes, um, thank you for that question. So HIV self-testing, um, according to 
various studies that have been done um, across Africa shows that it breaks various structural barriers. So it helps to mitigate those barriers. So for example, um, we did like a formative study sometime in October 2018. And um, just to young people showing their, giving us your perspective on how they feel about this HIV self-testing kit. And a majority of them would voice their opinion in terms of, you know, this kit will enable me um, not to feel judged when I go to a facility, you know, they're having sex at such a young age and this kid will help me do it at the comfort of my home um, with someone that I trust and not you know getting into the and, and this doesn't stop people from going to the health facility this tool is a screening tool okay. just it's just supposed to help close that testing gap so um, through and young people I mean me myself I'm a young person so I see this tool as it's it's helping me take ownership of my health so it's cost effective, it's um, easy to, it, with, and for you by it, it's, going to, it's supposed to help make this easily accessible to the general population, hopefully, that's the overall goal. So we, we believe that this tool is, is I mean, it's, it's, a me, it's a next big, big thing, yeah. You, you know, so for me, Dr. David, my, my concern here is when, when AIDS was first, when HIV was first discovered, rather, or when it became prevalent in Nigeria, um, the stigma, was, was the greatest killer here, where people die out of the stigma. Right. And then one would have thought that the focus would have been mm -hmm. educating the people up, at, up until the extent where you understand that AIDS, HIV, it's not a terminal ailment, right. could be lived with, yeah. and it does not reduce who you are by yeah. any form. Yeah. Now, when we bring in our self-testing, we have not dealt with that, that part of, of, of the issue, which is the stigma part stigma. of the issue. Mm -hmm. Because we're trying to shy away from the fact that people still feel stigmatized when, 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 when they're HIV positive. Okay. So does this, does, this, and does this deal with the stigma issue? Yes, it does. And how? Um, for you to decide to go ahead and do HIV self-testing, you, like she rightly mentioned, you're already taking responsibility as it were for your health. In other words, you, you are getting out of the pond that I don't care what anybody thinks, my health matters. And the, the good side of HIV self-testing, like um, she rightly mentioned, is that you are on your own. You got the kid by yourself. Nobody is watching you. And when you have your result, you can actually link yourself to care through some method. So you, you, you are not under the watchful eyes of the community and of, of the public. So you can actually do it at the comfort of your room. Through there, get linked to care and assess treatment. Uh, when we, like, just to bottle what you're trying to mention, when we started HIV treatment at the Giants to Medical Research, it was in the year 2002. I was a young doctor then. People that are coming to the clinic were very sick, half serious, they could, they're on wheelchair, but today the picture is very different. You see people looking like you and I, healthy, they're working in, how to get treatment. So the issue of the stigma has gone down to some, to large extent in the last few years because uh, the rollout of HIV treatment is every almost general hospital in Lagos state now over treatment. It is not two or just about two or three centers in Lagos. So it is we, we are getting out of that stigma. It's still there. We cannot shy away from there. But we are still we are getting out of. But we believe that if we are able to adopt this HIV self test, especially among the youth, why the youth? Because um, youth are the next thing, the next. The leader of the tomorrow, that's what we're told. The future. Uh, yeah, the future. And if a young person knows his status and he takes the right decision, by the time he's getting married, so he's on treatment, the chance of passing the virus to the unborn child is less. Oh, yeah. So we actually protected the next generation. Now, if a young person knows their status, they will be educated in their community. They could talk to their parents, their siblings. So I think the next focus in this drive should be the young people. And that's why the For You By Youth organization is actually focusing on young people from age. 14 to 24. If I may just mention, we, we started a contest. We did it last day, but we're having it this day. The contest is we, we are trying to use a bottom up approach, mm. bottom up approach. approach yeah. In other words, we're asking the youth, how do you think would be the best way for you to be tested for HIV AIDS? In your own opinion, what do you think? And we have a contest. So it's been online, we're on Twitter, social media, I mean, um, Instagram, we're on Facebook. People can actually submit their entry, add copy at the Giants to Medical Research. And this Sunday, <coughs> what is the, we are going to be listening for about 30 of them to come and pitch the idea to judges who are trained, who are experts in HIV treatment in Nigeria and globally. And the best 
entry amount is not category we go home with about 250,000 euro. You said you did this last year. I would we like to know the, the results of it last year, what they, they thought it was. But let me come to you, okay. Chiso. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the theme, communities make the difference. So let me also take this. I think this was a HIV AIDS Nigeria educator. It says that the March survey also shows that Northern Nigeria mm -hmm. has a lower HIV AIDS burden right. than the southern states uh, that while the Northwest has the lowest prevalence rates at 0.6%, mm -hmm. the South-South geopolitical zone has the highest with 3.1%. Right. Now, does this have anything to do with cultural behaviors or religious um, affiliations, how do you intend to get this message to such communities? Right. Um, that's a great question, actually. Um, so there are people, there are different risks. So for example, um, they could be, you know, low condom use, uh, multiple sexual pa partners, and the most common one among young people is transactional sex. So they could be at risk for those. And in terms of being social, there's definitely that cultural component in it. Um, so for example, uh, I know I read some articles online that uh, this is in a different um, African country. So for example, women are predisposed to a certain um, different risk for HIV, just depending on what the cultural practices are. So yes, there is that component. And in terms of this reaching people in rural areas, so like Dr. Oladili mentioned, our, our organization, we're um, launching a, a, camp, a nation wide campaign. So as a matter of fact, we got people apply from Kaduna, from uh, from Benue State, and this World Aids Day, they will be speaking on how they'll promote this kit in their local community. And hopefully, um, it doesn't end with their ideas, they'll have to implement it. Because um, we're also driving entrepreneurship um, training, so we're going to equip them with the skill, and hopefully they would Im implement in their community. And that way they can better spread the, the, the good words. How are we yeah. doing the, local, the state governments along with this, all of this? How, how much of a state government involvement are we having in this? Fantastic. Thank you very much for that question. Uh, it was yesterday. Or yes, yesterday. We, we had, we had mm -hmm. a meeting with um, yeah. the, 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 the organization in charge of HIV response mm -hmm. in Lagos State. Lagos State uh, AIDS Control Agency. And we discussed <coughs> about this. Last day, we actually partnered with them. Right. So mm -hmm. it's a partner between the Agency of Medical Research for Ubi Youth mm -hmm. and Lagos State. So because we know that we cannot achieve this without oh, yes. the, the major stakeholder. Oh, yeah. 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 So, stigma involvement. So that is what, that's what we're mm -hmm. trying to do. Yeah. So we're actually working in sync. Mm -hmm. Last day, we, were, we did HIV work together. Yeah. And we all went together to mm -hmm. the venue for the program. That's at Police College. That's where we're going to have it this day, at Police College. So we're all together. Okay. They gave their speech. Uh, one of them was part of the judges mm -hmm. uh, because yeah. if this will work, they need, need to be them. on board. Right. So that, that is, we are quite um, mm -hmm. uh, working in sync with them. Yeah. Okay, so this. just before we let you go, okay. uh, we still have, as Nigeria still has a huge challenge of mother to child transmission. Mm -hmm. uh, in as much as we, we, uh, we know now you're working with the government and then you're trying to reach these local communities, do you think that um, these local communities are well educated to know that even if they have, that's the mother, mm -hmm. even if she has uh, the virus, that she can also prevent her child from getting it. Yes. Do you think that education has gotten to the grassroots? Um, I don't have facts and figures for that. Why I'm aware a lot is being a lot is being done by Lagos State government and globally. I mean nationally. Um, we the, the the challenge of PMTCT that is pressure from mother to yeah. child. I'm sorry, it, it's, it's it's very real. Looking at um, uh, it's very real. Okay. Yeah. Looking at the the the, the report it quoted. Only about 40% of those who are pregnant self-reported that they've done HIV testing. Okay. Or they know their status when they're getting pregnant. Mm. So we need to do a lot in talking to pregnant women that they should know. The, nationally, there's a program that says that every woman who's pregnant must be offered HIV test mandatory, at the hospital. Mandatory. It's mandatory. Yeah. But they can decide not to do it anymore, but it is, it is, you have to do it. Okay. And if they are not doing that, the reason could be that not many of them actually go to government hospital for antenatal and delivery. It is said that only about 30, about a little about 30 percent of those who are pregnant deliver in the hospital facility. Many of them still go to traditional birth attendant. So the government is trying to reach out to see how we can promote HIV testing among those people who are try to medicine. Try to medicine. So until we're able to bridge that gap, get everybody to come and come into the hospital assess the antenatal care and get delivered in a facility, then we still have some way to go. But a lot is going on. Uh, government, there, there, there are different programs getting the community engaged in this regard. There are, there are experts that train, be trained the community to actually uh, kind of monitor women from their home to the facility to get treatment, get access to ARV, and afterward they go. And it gets better. Recently, we adopted um, 
uh, once you are positive for HIV, you get treated, you get treated for life. In those days when you are pregnant, you assess HIV treatment, after delivery, you stop. Mm. But that has since stopped. So if a woman gets pregnant today, and is HIV positive, and she commits treatment, she will take it for life. So that is actually protecting not just only this pregnancy, but the future pregnancy. And it's also protecting her husband, because if she, her husband is negative, when she's on treatment and she has achieved virus suppression, yeah. the chance of her passing the virus to the husband is, zero, is almost, zero. Zero. almost zero. So it's, 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 it's all working together. Mm -hmm. So I hope that if we can sustain this effort of the Lagos State Government mm -hmm. and federal government and all the donor agency working in this that we can actually, in the next few years, say that we are achieving what we plan to achieve. Bring it down significantly the, the body of HIV is. But it's actually better now. Mm -hmm. we for, it is a lot better. Yeah. To <laughs> for 4.1 prevalence to 3.4, now it's yeah, 1.5. So better. we are moving, we'll moving we but we are not there yet. We're not there yet. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let, let me still take you back to the self testing initiative. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm a lot more concerned about how much of um, stakeholders' involvement and okay. engagement we're having in this. Yes, mm -hmm. you kept talking about Lagos State, Lagos State, Lagos State. Mm -hmm. There are actually six states in Nigeria. Okay. Okay. How, how do you intend to, you know, you know, get into the state governments to that's buy to buy into this initiative. There's a national policy on self testing coming out. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, so, and uh, Fragment has actually approved some kits for HIV self testing. So, it's, it's the first step in the next thing that should be done. Mm. It is new. We are just bringing it to the country. I'm sure, and then, like Shirley mentioned, our challenge is national. Mm -hmm. We have, and we hope that with help of government, federal government, and donor agencies, we can actually make this. Um, a national issue that we can do it across. But the government, the country itself is already working in this direction right. with the national policy, and that is the beginning of this. Right. All right, Chisom, just your final word. Uh, would you say that um, the antiretroviral drugs are readily available? Because mm -hmm. it's one thing to do the self-testing and realize right. that you are positive, right. but the antiretroviral drugs, are they something that we can go off the shelf and, and get? I'll, so to, to the best of my knowledge, I would say yes. Um, I mean, there are several uh, ARV sites, and Neymar included, one of the biggest in the country. So yes, it is available. And um, I know we had a lot of questions in terms of you know what would happen when someone tests positive if they're at home. But studies actually show that they don't commit suicide. So instead, so our hope is to, to, fi to find, and that's part of the project, to find how to link them up. So in the event that I'm positive, how to maybe it could be a call, I know um, the NACA, the national, um, NACA has, it, they have a helpline, so maybe you can pick up a phone and call somebody or, yeah, so we're, it's all part of the strategy that the young people would have to figure out, but yeah. Okay. All right, Chiso Obiezo Ume, Project Coordinator Youth for Youth. For, for youth, youth by youth, youth. right. Yeah, thank you so very much. And thank Dr. You. David Deladele, Consultant, mm -hmm. Senior Research Fellow and I am R. And to all of you watching out there, I'm putting this call to all um, state uh, commissioners for health. We need to cash into this uh, self testing initiative of um, Nyamara. We need to cash into this and, and, and ensure that uh, we bring to up to the lowest, uh, barest minimum. HIV prevalence in the country. Right, HIV is no more a death sentence. You can live yeah. a normal life, a normal yeah. life for as long as God has blessed you with. Yeah. And so do not um, say no to stigmatization in any shape or form or style. All right, we'll take a break. Do we have spots? I don't think so. I think uh, we should just uh, waste call it a quick. We'll do this again tomorrow. All right. Yes, we'll come your way again tomorrow. I'm David Babu DK. Have a great day. And I'm Zikonima. Have a great day. Bye. Get the news fresh and while it's hot. If you want breaking stories in Nigeria and across the world, we've got you covered. Join the news and brief at 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. every weekday, Monday to Friday, on Tiverbird Television. The news never stops. Here, the controversy ends. Peel out the issues, state the facts, deal with the fiction. On Head to Head, we say it just the way it is. No matter whose ox is gored. Incisive, detailed. Barred. Head to head is back. Bigger. Better.
weekly on STV. Say something. We'll say no.